So we started out in the morning at 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock is when the race started. And we started out at a very, very fast pace. Mentally, you prepare for a ride like that, knowing what kind of ride it is. I didn't exactly know what was wrong, but I knew something wasn't right. It was the first time that I could not finish a ride. I was nauseated, you know, just completely exhausted. I had nothing left. Your heart is only pumping a certain percentage of your blood, and in my case, it was like 65% of my blood was being pumped, and the other 35 was being regurgitated back towards the lungs. The primary focus here is that his valve is a problem that lends itself to repairing as opposed to replacing. Really, I just I wanted to have the, the, the best recovery possible. And so I chose Mayo because they had, at the time, they had done over 500 procedures on the mitral valve robotically. When you walk into an operating room where robotic heart surgery is going to be performed, you get to see that technology applied with this incredible, flawless lines of communication. It's medicine at its peak. I've been released to do whatever I want to do and however I want to do it, so there's no, no limitations on what I can do right now. He's going to get back to doing what he loves to do, and he's going to be able to do it better than what he was doing. At five weeks, I could actually take a complete deep breath without it hurting at all. I'm riding, you know, uh, 40, 50, 60 miles without any trouble. And I keep telling myself I'm very, very lucky uh, to have the procedure early and also to have, to have Mayo do it for me robotically.